Why, hello everyone, and welcome, welcome back to Stray, where apparently we are partying with the robots in Midtown. <laughs> Which is not what I expected to be doing, but somehow it seems completely fitting for Bucket to have managed. So we actually found a, a vinyl of all things, and we went ahead and plunked it on down the turntable, and now it seems like the bots are having a great time. Let's see what they have to say. DJ Maxi. Hey everybody, DJ Maxi here. Let's get this party started. The first song has been requested by our very questionable friend, Blazer. All right, so Blazer is here and Blazer was supposed to be hanging out with Clementine. Uh, so let's see how things are going. And now that we have gone ahead and we have actually stolen a freaking <laughs> nuclear battery. Do we still have it like in our pack? We're just walking around with a nuclear battery in our pack. Don't know how I feel about that, to be completely honest. I'd be a little nervous to know there was just a cat walking around with a nuclear battery, but that's just me. Kula? Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep, boop, swoop, swoop. It's called the Zegma dance. All right, all right. Hello? Viv, you like my mask? I made it myself. It jams the Sentinel scans and looks cool. All right, that's actually pretty awesome. And then what's going on over here? Everybody's just having a good time. Is this a kid or just like a short bot? I paid extra to get tonight's stance moves for the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh, that actually sounds like important information to know. All right, I wonder why the sentinels aren't just like roaming around in here causing trouble. Hello, friend. You look like you would use. Yeah, yeah, what do you think about that, hmm? Indeed. Yes, everybody likes the cat. Enjoying yourself, little one? I sure am. I wonder what kind of object I could show you, Alex. Is somebody literally simulating snoring over here? The the length that the bots will go to is kind of amazing. This club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me! Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you the silly lever. I still don't need it and I don't want to be caught with it. Alright, alright. So we need to go to the VIP room. That's probably where our girl Clementine's hanging out. Hello? Hello? Okay, can't talk with you. All right, let's jump on up. Got more drinks to still. Hey, bartender. Hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on in there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. I see. And he's all the way up there, eh? So that's where we want to be. All right, all right. So I'm going to take this strange drink. And then I'm going to come on over here. Knock down a bunch of stuff. It's a club. I'm sure that's fine. Hey, Fripp. All right, let's go ahead and let's get him the strange drink. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> I love how the bots really don't have a lot like going on in their lives. So even these small dramas played out over centuries and centuries probably mean something to them. All right, Fripp, anything else to say to me? Thanks again for the drink. Have fun. Cause like, I would expect them to pay a little more attention to everything that's happening, but why would you? It's been literally centuries here. Like, I feel like the the groove of, of all of this, the fun of all of it would kind of wear off over time. And you'd start to have to just like, make up some of your own meanings to life, especially if you're stuck. I think that's why the outsiders became what they were because after like, you know, your 400th birthday, you've replaced all of your parts. Over time, you've modified everything. You've done all the dances. I mean, you would try to figure out if there was something more to life. You know what I mean? Hmm, maybe I'm just not suited for immortality in a box. I'll take it if it means... Oh, where are we going? What have I just done with our cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that worried me so much. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. What are we remembering now? I did not expect that. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. 
And the underground living condition as became more and more squalid. See, this is what I was just saying. Like, you need to be able to find joy. And if everything just repeats itself and repeats itself in this post-apocalyptic, terrible Groundhog's Day, then I could see how the bots who seem to be, like, the most creative and they seem to be the ones doing the most are the ones who have an aspiration, like, just trying to go outside and see what's there. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nickel Corp. What's the point of having capitalistic greed in a petri dish? And the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Oh, more memory recovered. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure we've missed some of his memories, which makes me feel a little badly. But you can only do what you can do. All right, let's be a cat. Knock everything around. And I think this area was just to recover his memory. So let's go back up. I guess that's like so you can get materials up and down the club quickly, which makes sense. Still surprised me. All right, I want to go up. How, how? Somebody let the cat up. All right, so I've got a lever. How do I get, how do I get up to the balcony? So there's the balcony. And now I need to figure out, excuse me. Hello again, dear customer. I've had several complaints. So no, we can't disable the hollow dancers because some idiot thought it was funny to steal the lever handle. Anyway, you want to drink something? All right, so hollow dancers disabled. So let's wiggle over here. Aha! In it goes. And then let's be a cat. All right, come on, kitty cat. We got this. You got this bucket. Oh! Time to ride up. Ah, to be a cat. Okay, so now we've managed to make it over here. Ha ha! And we've got lots of fun buttons we can press. I see. And some of these can move around here. And you want to get the right alignment of them, huh? All right, that looks good. <laughs> nice. I wonder who that is, though. Clearly, I think they're hanging out with Clementine, and we've got to get over there and figure out what's happening. Hello, Raph. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Uh-huh. I love how he didn't even blink as we, like, got up here. All right. Is that Clementine? All right, that's not, that's not, that's not good. Okay, that's not good. I don't know why she would be like muffled as a bot. Uh oh. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Oh, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at all. Um, Clem? Business is money. But for what point? What are you going to spend it on? You dinkle dorks. And I value money way more than I value friendship or camaraderie. Why? They're all yours. But... Ah! The Sentinel drones! <gasps> now what? Oh man! Are we gonna get tossed into that 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 prison we saw? <gasps> they took our little thing away! Oh my gosh! I am not okay with this. Oh, we're stuck. Hang in there, bucket. We'll get you free, bucket. They don't know how to contain a cat. I can't believe they took his his cover away. 
Oh, man. All right. Maybe there's something up there I can get to. Okay. Clearly, it's so weird not wearing our little, our little backpack after all this time. Okay. So I can get over here. That's probably the better way to explore. We're in jail? Do they just like stick the heads of the people they capture in here? Why do they have these weird little cages? I'm not okay with this. Okay, so there's that one. I wonder if I can swing it around a few times. I mean, I guess what we were doing was kind of naughty, but it shouldn't have been like this naughty in my opinion. All right, good job, kitty. Oh man, can you imagine how long you could get lost down here? There's just bits of, bits of bots everywhere. All right, let's see, can I jump up here? One of the things that kind of amazes me is they continue to have... Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, they continue to have the bots have have air conditioning to like keep cooled off. Okay, maybe I need to disable. Can I let that guy out? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, there's a security drone patrolling the area. Let's look up. I think up might be my best chance. That's better. Yeah, up is my best chance. And I don't have B12 to be able to translate anything for me either. So there are security drones out and about. But we know from working with them in the past, their range is kind of limited. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to jump down there and then into a few boxes for my own safety. Cause this drone seemed like it was sort of locked in place. And if these guys shoot us, it does not end well for us. But was I supposed to try to figure out like top drone? Wow. Yeah, they seem to take the heads of some of the ones who get tossed in here. Okay, let's wait for the drone to go by again. Oh, we're getting so dirty. I wonder if B12 was like keeping us kind of clean. Yeah, everything's just like falling apart and so neglected. All right, I'm gonna run in here. We can't leave Clementine in here. All right, what's over here? So there's gonna be spots where we can kind of sneak between the cells in this zone. Got it. And let's wait for the drone to go by again. I think we can hide behind this thing of laundry. But it will find it on its way back. Okay, good. I can hear like clanking from the different rooms. All right, cat in the box so I can look around without being spotted for a minute. Okay, and that's how we can get to the other side. What a twist for our poor bucket. All right, how do we get around you? Aha, so we need to go up. All right, let's wait and then we'll go up, up, up. Because I can hear somebody rattling around in here. All right, come on, Bucket. No, Bucket, no. Oh, Bucket, you're not supposed to actually fall into another Bucket. Bucket, go up. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, up again. Clem! 
We're not able to talk though without B12. All right, across the way. The keys, okay. Man, this place is just ridiculous. I'll do my best, Clem. All right, we're gonna have to figure out how to get in there. So, I need to figure out where B12 went. I don't like not having him with us. He's been our companion this whole time. Oh, whoa, it's an actual prison. I can't help but wonder what the point of this would be in a city like this. I mean, you probably need some jails, but unless you're doing rehabilitation, I don't think there'd be a point in having a jail in an enclosed society like this. So maybe that's a little bit too dark. <laughs> All right, maybe she can help us get B12 back. Wow. Wow. They've even got laundry hanging outside of some. I, again, I agree with the professor. It seems very interesting that they even had the ability to have laundry. There you go, Clem. What we're gonna do from here, I don't know, but do you have B12 with you? We're gonna break you out. Hopefully they won't decide that you caused so much trouble they wanna just like destroy you. All right, are the keys still gonna help her here? Yes, okay. Let's bust out of here. Thank goodness those drones aren't too intelligent. Let's see. I feel like if she locked up, that would be better. Because then if we locked up afterward, they would be really confused about like where we disappeared to. All right, so we're trying to get out there, huh? Oh, it's a prison break. But where's B12? Oh, what are they doing to him? That's really high security. How are we gonna break him out? Oh, but get so worried about him. All right, guys, we're gonna have to do this. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna just trust that the answer is in jumping really high up and in being able. Oh, we can't go any faster. We're tiptoeing. Oh, look at his little tail. Alright, the answer is in tiptoeing past. And doing our best to go ahead and rescue B12. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Carefully is the answer, but hopefully it won't be too hard for a cat. Aha! Excellent. Using all of the skills we have learned thus far. I know I saw one of the sentinels over here, but are they not going to jump over immediately? Okay, okay. All right, guys, one step at a time. We're gonna make this happen. We've just gotta put all the pieces together and think like a cat. Okay, can I go any higher over here? No, but at least we can scout out the land. All right. Don't get zapped. Something tells me that would be very bad. Be very patient. Be very fast. 
hide in the box and we'll piece everything together one step after another. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Little Bucket, who is apparently breaking out of jail of all things. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and maybe don't get caught and go to jail, kids, because it looks like it's a little harder to break out than I thought. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.